Hey there, Phys 1 students, and welcome back. Uh, we are going to start block five, which is on the work energy theorem, which is a new tool uh, that we can use in addition to Newton's laws to solve problems in introductory mechanics. Um, so 5-1 in particular is called work and translational kinetic energy. So it's going to give us a chance to talk about what these words that you may be used to in non-physics contexts, what they actually mean in a physics context. So like what is the physical definition of work and what are different types of energy we could have in our system um, and how do these fit together in the work energy theorem. So the work energy theorem is this first thing listed on the top, work total equals the change in energy of the system. The second equation here um, is the definition of work and we're gonna get lots of practice with that today. Um, this third equation just tells us all of the different types of energy we can have in our system. Uh, today, we're just going to focus on translational kinetic energy, and then later, uh, in later topics, we're going to talk about rotational kinetic energy and thermal energy, uh, different types of potential energy, and then we have this sort of catch-all for something that doesn't fall into the other categories like E other. Um, so things like chemical energy could, could fall in, in there. And um, when we put this together in the work energy theorem, we see that the total work done on a system can change all of these different types of energy. Um, and so we're gonna focus on how that works today. Um, and then this last equation here tells us what translational kinetic energy means. And this is the energy associated with the center of mass motion of an object. So if you have an object of mass m, mass m moving at speed v, uh, its kinetic energy is one half mv squared. And to find the change in kinetic energy, you just take the final kinetic energy and then subtract off the initial kinetic energy. Uh, so let's get started with a quick warm up question. So we have four statements here that you need to determine if they are true or false. And we've got a reminder of the work energy theorem here at the top. So what I want you to do before you start the next video is to take some time to think about this for yourself. If you have someone who you uh, are interacting with in the course, you can talk to you about it, that's great too. But make sure you write down for yourself what you think the answer is and why, and then we'll start off the next video uh, talking through the answer. All right, see you soon.